Alright, so much clay. What else do we... What do we got here? Oh yeah. This reminds me. One of the, one of the things I had to do as I was doing a lot of processing off stream was uh, I turned down the um, uh, the sound of blocks down to 11% because the, the macerators are very loud. Now, later on, we'll be able to make the like a muffler to put on the machines to silence them, but that's not really in the cards right now, so I just turned blocks way down. Otherwise, it so loud. Anyway. Ooh, health boost. Fancy. Uh, let's see. We can unbookmark that. And we're working through this quest, right? So time to get some steel, it says. Uh, let me read through this. You need steel. Uh, fine. Let's get busy. The Brit Black Blast Furnace, BBF, can share walls with uh, other ones. Just like most GT multi-blocks. How will this affect air quality? So it produces pollution. Right, the, the multi-block does. In fact, if I probably hover over this. 200 pollution per second. Is that a lot? Is that a little? No idea. <laughs> now, what this means when it says that it can share walls with other ones. So when you make a multi-block structure, like generally there's one block that's like the control block. Um, and you can often like, you'll make them like they're hollow. Um, and so like there are effectively like walls of the, the structure and you can actually make two where the side of one the wall of on one side is the wall the like the left wall of one side is the right wall of the next one and you can just combine them together so you're making multiple of the same thing oh, that was me losing my health bonus <laughs> all right anyway if you're short on stone dust you can get more by masquerading cobblestone it says that's good. If you spawn near a biome with hardened clay, you can macerate it to get the clay dust you need. Okay. You can also use brick blocks from villages to get brick dust in the macerator. Mm, excuse me. Um, crafting the work table from forestry can make it easier as you can use all the buckets for crafting in one click. The work table from forestry. Let's check that out. Work table. That looks familiar. Is that a thing we can make? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. How do you make a book? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Maybe not. I, I don't know if that's worth it. Let's. Let's let's try without and see where that gets us. So uh, the first thing I think I know is that we don't need all of these. I think this is telling us like you use all these things. I'm not exactly sure though. I wanna I wanna kinda trace back. So we know that we need fire bricks block which uses gypsum gypsum dust calcium sulfate and one of those things right so gypsum just the gypsum let dust the little bit gypsum dust looks familiar from the other screen and then fire bricks and then a bucket of concrete which is interesting so concrete stone dust. okay 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 so no i'm wrong i'm just wrong no we need all of those things all of the things listed uh, and we'll make buckets of concrete. Now, we actually need more than one fire brick. I think this is just like walking us through the steps. But generally speaking, in this, the quests, at least the ones that I've seen, like this stuff up here is walking you through all the stuff you need to have on you in order to complete. Um, they're optional because you don't actually have to have all of this on you. You don't have to have it checked off to complete the quest and get the reward. It's just trying to tell you what you need in order to be able to make the later things. Um, so like 20 iron plate, right? Um, what we want to do is, so that's 10 iron right there. And we have 43. Now, 20 iron plate, that's um, 
56 iron ingots, 43, um, 53, once we process this, we need a little bit more. I think the problem right now is maybe that we're, we're not producing enough steam yet. We're plenty hot. Although we've run out of, let me go get some more charcoal. I say 56 and that's 12 43 45 so one more and we can go over there and put the we'll process the iron put it in the smeltery and we'll be able to churn out ingots and we'll get that going and then we can probably start on making the four furnaces it's not like that's a big deal Get some food. Every once in a while, I'll turn and it just like spins me around. Ooh, a wild onyx appears in chat. That might be worth something. All right, we need four ferni. Two, three, four. I'll just put them in here for right now in the chest. Yeah, put the rest of this back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, 13 and 43 is 56 so that'll be good once we get that processed uh, anything else we want to do oh, I didn't get credit, credit. Hold on. there complete <laughs> all right let's get the iron going took me to get hungry again after eating one delighted meal now okay I have eaten that that's good all right so uh, let me eat this so it's just out of my inventory there we go and then what we want to do is we want to take this impure iron dust and we're gonna go down to that cauldron and uh, let me check in on the farm over here so in you go, and then we get back in our miner's backpack. That's with the obsidian on it. We get iron dust. Uh, let's get that smelting, since that'll take a minute. And then we'll check in on the farm while we're waiting. All right. So iron dust goes in. Each one of these is uh, will melt down to the equivalent of one iron ingot. A little bit of iron here. Uh, no iron here. Okay, so it'd be funny if there was like 20 iron in there or something. All right, so where we go? Got going on. Um, something. Uh, a weed. Don't want a weed. Yeah, there was a weed there. Try that again. Uh, this looks like a, an acacia sapling. Looks like we have some weeds in our other crops here. Yep. But by having this kind of layout, it kind of limits the uh, the spread of the weeds, which is good. Looks like we got a few different things here. Um, I can identify them, but I am, so this is turnip. 
This is pumpkin. This is potato. It's wheat. Raspberry. Wheat. Wheat, of course. Um, it is a birch bonsai. Yep. Acacia. Wheat. Jungle. We already identified that. This is a huckleberry. I've not seen one of those before. And it's a wheat. Alright, so we're also gonna sleep here momentarily. Let me go put. Since I did get some crop sticks back, let's put these in here and we'll see if we can crossbreed there. And maybe there as well. 29, 30, 31, 32, time to sleep. will keep for now. I will want to come back and break all the crops to see if I can get seeds from those things. Although, I wonder, I guess what I should not be doing is using the lens to identify them, because I want a bunch of unknown seeds for the quest, and they probably probably will not be unknown if I've used the lens on the plant. So that, that might have been a mistake. Um, we also need to make more crop sticks to be able to kind of continue the farming effort. But that's fine. That's not why we really came over here. We came over here to get some iron. There we go. 13 ingots worth of iron. So we'll get that going. So this will dump all the... Uh, uh, okay, so there was a little bit of bronze left over here. So it's not going to be able to use this. But this will pour all of the one kind of metal into this and then stop up to the capacity of this, which is 4.8 buckets. And then the uh, the bronze fluid pipe here will then flow into both sides if there's <laughs> no... If I wasn't awake before, I would be now. Thank you, Foxy. For the 55 bits. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, Brainless. <laughs> Foxy's just paying it, uh, paying me back for all the times I've scared her. I don't know how loud it is for you. <laughs> you were so chill looking in metrics. Foxy Blue just cheered 100 bits. Hope this helps you feel better. <laughs> a little bit. Thank you for the 100 bits. But what about Brainless's feelings? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I feel like, though, I don't know how loud it is for you listening for to it. I think it's just about as loud as it as it is for me, uh, but I feel <laughs> now I won't be able to sleep. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. I was so calmly explaining something. It seemed like the best moment. I'm sorry, brainless. It is the best moment. What was I saying? <laughs> I mean, I was saying something about the iron, but yeah, we have the iron. Ooh. <laughs> Lots of emotes. Um, I feel like your your scare sound is not as loud as mine. Now that's my fault. <laughs> Maybe we should turn down the volume. Oh well, it's late. If someone is attacking our services, I'm not on that team. There you go. Yeah, it's loud for you. Um, let's see. Is that sound alerts? I think that's sound alerts. Turn that down a little bit. 
All right. Hopefully, I mean, I just turned it down just a little bit. Okay, so we have iron, plus the iron. I'm gonna spend all this iron. 36 iron. Uh, our hammer is probably gonna break. Right, because we needed 28 plates. Why do we need 28 plates? Well, the iron furnaces each need seven. And we need four. And four times seven is 28, so that's why. Huh, the hammer just survived. BRB, buddy is requesting some liquid. All right. <laughs> Big dinner party, 28 plates, yep. I wonder, I mean, of course you have the vanilla bowls plate. Look at all the things that come up for plate. <laughs> of course, pressure plates, aluminum plates, dark pressure plates. Probably not a dinner plate though. I don't know, we can search. Can we search for dinner? <laughs> Wait, yeah, there, there is a dinner plate. <laughs> Yeah, pressure plates are good, yeah. Yeah, they're tricky to make in this. But yeah, so if we have some nether quartz, we can make that into plates and we can make a dinner plate. We can make a fish dinner. <laughs> Ooh, catfish. Eel, grouper, herring, budfish, octopus, perch. So many things in here. All right, anyway. So... Uh, how do we, how do we make this thing? Oh yeah, just the base furnace by itself, like the vanilla Minecraft furnace also produces pollution, of course. There we go. One, two, three, four, hey, the wrench survived. Alright, so, I think we're good through here. Now we need all of these dusts. So we need 72 calcite dust, which we can get a few different ways. <laughs> so the Eye of Harmony is something I've seen in someone's pack, uh, in someone's playthrough. They're like on se like episode 300 and something. <laughs> it's a long ways away. But anyway, um, macerator. So if we macerate, um, limestone, how else can we get calcite dust? Not that way, no. Forge hammer, thermal centrifuge, dust wash washer. Oh, impure pile of calcite dust. Do we have any of that? Do we have calcite? Here's a question, calcite. the right word. There is a calcite ore. I don't have any here. But it does exist. It's in a lapis vein. So we can probably find some calcite. Because I'm guessing that like if we just um, macerate the calcite, we'll get calcite dust, right? Well, we get Crush calcite ore. If we macerate that, we get impure pile. And then if we wash that, we get calcite dust. Okay. So. That's a thing. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and put away our um, clay. We'll get a final count on how much we have. Looking good so far. How much do we need? We need like a thousand eighty something. All right, we have enough then. All right. Um, just 
just leave that in there for later use. Don't need to carry around this obsidian with me either. We are still processing iron, which is good. Although that macerator is finished, I guess what we can do is we can turn around and use the bottom macerator also process the uh, the crushed stuff. Since we're out of iron now. Uh, okay, so we need to go find a lapis vein. Uh, that's not really a hard task to do. We've, we've done a lot of exploration. There's a lapis vein right here. So all we have to do is just go north a chunk and uh, mine that out. And we're, we're looking for calcite. Welcome back. A Gatorade sounds nice. I've just been drinking water all day. Well, water and coffee. I saw something interesting that I just thought of when I mentioned coffee. I saw this uh, YouTube short of someone doing a... Um, I don't know if people uh, are familiar with like a nitro cold brew, but it's a thing I used to get like at, at Starbucks a lot. And uh, someone doing kind of a... A thing you could do just with an espresso machine that was kind of a kind of a similar vein, where you brew, you know, a shot or two shots of espresso, and then uh, you mix it with ice and water, and then you use the steam wand to uh, to froth it until the ice melts, and you end up with something kind of similar. Uh, and I'm excited to try that, maybe tomorrow afternoon, and see how that goes. All right, where am I doing? Where am I going? What am I doing? Uh, I think the, yeah, the lapis vein is right over here. Yeah, it did seem interesting. And there was a video of it looking like it worked. Of course, it could be faked in any in in number of ways. But, uh, and it's not going to be quite the same, but it could be interesting. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to wait here for a couple seconds until it's uh, 6.32 p.m. so I can sleep. I don't like um, mobs having a chance to spawn at all. Later, please tell me how it goes. Might try it. Okay, I <laughs> have an urge to plug the Discord. So the other day, I was watching Marxy stream, who's someone who's actually in the chat right now, although it's probably asleep at this point. Uh, who is? Um, I was watching their stream. Uh, right as I was waking up, and I was saying, okay, I'll be right back, I'm gonna make some coffee. And he said, give me some too. And of course, he's he's in the UK, so I'm not gonna be able to get any coffee for him. But I was like, okay. And uh, I took my camera down, uh, my camera, I took my phone down. Uh, do I have torches? Yeah, good, all right. Uh, and made my usual preparation with my espresso machine and I made a short of it. <laughs> I sent him the link. I said, there you go, there's your coffee. But in the Discord, to make a long story get to the point, in the Discord, there is now a coffee channel that has a link to that. And maybe I can put some more stuff there. Yeah, that video. I mean, it's just me making an espresso. Eh, okay. <laughs> That's nothing special. All right, coffee addict. Yeah, I, I, oh, my shovel is almost broken. Let's see what we, what we can do here. I, uh, oh, there's calcite ore. There we go. Yeah, I uh, generally drink two shots of espresso uh, with some kind of creamer or something. I don't normally do a latte because that's too much milk. Oh, a monster. I don't do energy drinks. I uh, have it in a lot of years, but uh, two shots of espresso in the morning and two after lunch, yes. All right. So I think I just went down far enough to like discover this this was a lapis vein and I stopped. Uh, Fox, yeah, Foxy's the opposite. Uh, I think you said you were willing to drink tea. Do you drink a lot of tea though? Probably not, unless it's green tea or something. I don't know. What do you do, Foxy? If you don't have ke caffeine, I have dumb as heck. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'd, I'd be fine. I have stopped drinking coffee. Just n n none of it, okay. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Right. Mm. I do like a, a really nicely sweetened iced tea. Uh, I was gonna say something, but then my <laughs> then my shovel broke. Now we'll make do. Um, but yeah, two two in the morning and two in the afternoon after lunch. All right, so we are probably now too low. So let's let's look here. So calcite. There's all sorts of stuff. Hey. Three Jlos just raided with 16 viewers. Hello, three Jlos and raiders. Welcome in. What were you playing? Do I have the shout out thing not working? Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Very awesome to have you here. Three Jlos just followed. Uh, three J L O W E S. Uh, you were playing Great Techno Horizons too? Very nice. Uh, let's see if this works. We will see. I thought I had something to auto shout out for raids, but I thought maybe Frosty Tools did that. We'll see if that, that works either. But uh, yeah, welcome in. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's that thing from Frosty Tools on the side. Uh, Great Tech Kuru has been on a wild ride from mastering titanium to eyeing Mars. Ooh, and dabbling with AE systems. I'm, I'm quite a ways away from that. I'm still... Uh, I would say midway into the Steam Age. So it's early days. There you go, Frosty Tools got it. Got the shout out going. So yeah, welcome in everyone. Um, I'm I'm no stranger to modern Minecraft and I've I've watched a lot of uh, a fair amount of play of uh, Great Titan New Horizons. Hey, thanks for the follow. Shy uh, underscore didn't just followed. Uh, Chiden, Zaiden, I don't know how to pronounce that, but <laughs> I'll go with the, the text-to-speech guess. Oh, right, 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 so we're a bedrock anyway, but I think I needed to go up. So we're looking for calcite right now. We're gonna make some steel, or at least we're gonna prepare to make some steel. I don't know if that's gonna happen today. We got maybe half an hour left. I normally stream, uh, Modded Minecraft on Mondays, Modded Minecraft Monday. My streams are usually about three hours long and I do other things. Yeah, the TTS is fine, cool, awesome. Uh, there we go, there's some calcite, let's get that. Is there more? I'm sure there's more. I need to fix my shovel at some point. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Welcome in. I'll Got a bunch of people here. <laughs> All right, so we got lapis. All right, so what I wanted to look at is if we look at calcite ore, and a bunch of you, if you're coming over from uh, another stream that's quite a bit further along than I am, you probably already know about looking at vein stats. Uh, but we're in a lapis vein right now. And so it's height 20 to 50, sporadic calcite ore. Okay, so. We are at level 27. <laughs> uh, and an annoying amount of uh, gravel here. I think, oh, here, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's uh, go this way. So how much calcite did I need here? So 72 calcite dust. We're getting that from macerating. So it's four, oh no, that's four limestone. I don't know where we would get limestone. Can we get limestone? Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, this way, there we go. Calcite dust, macerate, purified pyrochlorate ore. Oh, that's a byproduct that we can't get access to. Um, hmm. Centrifuge. Wait, do we not get calcite? Oh, here we go. Um, 
one of these. Probably this one. So we get two crushed calcite ore for one. And then we macerate that again for one to one. And then we get that and we can wash it with the cauldron since we don't we don't have electricity or any of this stuff for a calcite dust. So we can double the calcite. So half of 72 is 36. So we need 30, 36 uh, calcite ore. And we have <laughs> this many, three. Uh, let's see. Hey, uh, Nate, how's it going? I think I asked when you were here before <laughs> if that was okay if I called you that or if you preferred a different pronunciation. I don't remember what you said though, so I hope that's okay. Uh, because uh, Nate V Hunter 90 is a, is a mouthful. Uh, speaking of hunting, we're hunting for calcite ore, which is sporadic in a year. Uh, doing alright, doing alright. Doing some mining, which I rarely do <laughs> on stream these days, on the, the mod of Minecraft days. Doing a lot of this off stream. Um, and I suspect, yeah, we might, we might do some other stuff because I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna get enough calcite here to actually make progress right, you know, like tonight. Just the feeling I have based on, oh, there, there's a little bit. But yeah, these veins are, are wild. So if you're used to like vanilla Minecraft, uh, where, you know, ores are just scattered throughout the world kind of randomly, in Great Tech New Horizons, um, there are veins that are every couple of chunks of a particular kind of like related set of materials. And then they're just like huge veins. So, I mean, more recent versions of Minecraft have like the copper things that you can uh, occasionally find, but they're nothing like this, right? Where it's just like ore upon ore upon ore. Uh, just woken up to my daughter right by me, so I felt that little love coming from my baby. Aww. Sounds adorable. Now there's some more calcite. Lots of, um, what is this, sodalite? Some small gold ore. So I think if we, I hear a zombie. It's almost nighttime too. I don't want to allow mobs to spawn on the surface while we're down here either. So I will sleep right now. Oh, no. Okay, good. Oh, I got some haste temporarily. So I need 36 calcite ore. And... Uh, that seems bad. Let's not, let's not deal with that. Oh, there's some calcite ore, awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty afraid of mobs. Uh, let's see, haha, uh, when I was a teen, I didn't like Minecraft until I tried a game and started creating stuff, yeah. I, I've been playing, playing Minecraft for a very long time. Um, it was something when I was, I was doing like contract gigs and kind of between things and had a lot of free time and got pretty into it and very like early days early YouTube stuff around it and uh, I just keep coming back to it especially with mods there's just so many things <laughs> like this pack if I can stick to it I imagine I'll be playing this for thousands of hours Although I hope to 
get to a point where we won't be like mining around like this quite as much. Have more machinery doing that. All right, so I need a couple things. I need to check to see how much stuff we've actually gotten. I need to repair the shovel. I need more torches. Uh, Alaska day is warm, snowed most of the morning. Nice. Um, do I get any benefit from mining, fighting mobs? Like uh, resources? Yeah, I mean they drop things. There, are, there are some like rare chance things that can be dropped from mobs. There's actually a couple different things in the pack where like as quest rewards you can get a loot bag that has like some small percent chance of getting giving you really cool things. Like we got a loot bag that I opened that gave me like uh, a low voltage battery and a battery box and a solar panel. So for like a very early, uh, you know, solar power setup thing we could do, which we can't use because we don't have anything that uses electricity. Um, but it will, I think will be really good once we start making the first things. Um, so yeah, there's some possibilities there. It's just, um, um, it's something I have not any great armor. I have not spent a lot of time working on weapons. I did get this pan as a, a reward or was from a loot bag or something. So, you know, it's, it's a path you can go down. Uh, let's see here. So minor backpack, we have 14 calcite plus a little bit of crushed. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, so we got some iron process there. Let's get that calcite ore in and we can start processing that. Well, put that in there. Okay, and then stick that off to the side. We'll take that over and wash it and put it in the smelter ring and get some more iron. Since we used all of our iron to make the four iron furnaces that we needed. Uh, there's a lot more in there. Good, 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 good. And then this is processing. So that was 14. And how much did I say we needed? 36. So I don't think we have like 15 minutes left for the stream today. I think what we'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some of the other things we need and kind of like start making progress on that. And then probably what I'll do is as I have spare time over the week, I'll be doing some more mining. I um, have been trying to avoid, I mean, I have seen people play, but I don't retain a lot of that. So I, I have only been looking at the things that we have can see in the quest book mostly. So I did not have anything prepared for like the different things we need for this. Oh, you caught it and it's shiny, nice. Very nice. Um, so clay dust we can get by just processing the clay. Stone dust. We have a bunch of stone dust actually. 36. We have more than that. Your third. Nice. I've only gotten one. I think there's some stone dust in here. Yeah, we got like a stack. So we, we have enough for the quest. Uh, I think it was 36, right? Yep. And quartz sand. Uh, how do we get you? Okay, we can just... We can macerate or mortar sand. One for one. So we just need 36 of that. That's easy enough. So the unfired clay bricks, I'm assuming, let's see. Okay, that's, we can do that. Let's let's make those. It's just something to make sure that we don't run it out. Oh, I see, and we make brick dust. Okay, so this is, this reminds me of, um, uh, there's this YouTube channel, like Primitive Technology, where he uses like, leftover pieces of brick and crushes them up and uses that to put in for, anyway. Uh, so brick dust we get from probably macerating bricks. We get a small pile, okie dokie. Or a fire brick we can crush and get a whole thing, okay. So the fire brick requires compressed fire clay. So that that's why we needed the compressor, which we just made. Uh, fire clay dust needs okay so one brick dust and one clay dust makes two fire clay dusts okay 
one of each, and then that gets compressed. So then we get two compressed fire clay, which we can smelt. So that gives us two fire bricks. And the fire bricks can be macerated into one brick dust. Does this get us anything? I don't think so. I mean, that does mean that you turn, you can turn one brick dust into two brick dust through a lot of steps. I don't know if it's worth it though. Versus, um, you know, we'll make a brick. We, we need to make, see a small pile. It's nine small piles probably. No, no, it's four. Okay, it's only four. So we need four bricks to make brick dust. And we need 36 fire bricks. So we need uh, 36, 72, 152. Is that the right multiplication? Uh, bricks. Each brick. Do we make brick bricks again? Oh yeah. Okay. It is one to one though. Clay to unfired clay bricks. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, we have we have the form here. We might we might have to make a new form here soon. Um, but let's let's go make. We have we have 56 bricks here. I guess we only need uh what did I say 172? No. Anyone remember the number I just said? Or can I double check my math. Uh, 128. I'll just do three stacks. Oh yeah, and the, the durability there is not one to one. You'll drop in after you get some breakfast. Uh, you gotta wake up the munchies. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna be ending here soon, but uh, thank you for for coming by. I uh, stream for those, looks like a bunch of people are still here, that's great. Thanks everyone for sticking around. Um, so, uh, I think I said this before, but so I, I stream modded Minecraft on Mondays. Wednesdays is currently uh, multiplayer pal world. So I play on um, a dedicated server that I set up for uh, myself and subscribers. So subscribers uh, can get in the discord, uh, which I can drop a link here, discord. There we go. Uh, and uh, for subscribers, there is a private channel for subscribers that you can uh, then find information on how to connect to that server. It's up all the time, I, although I play there on Wednesdays uh, at my normal streaming time. And then Fridays, uh, we do a poll now at the beginning of the stream from a set of choices that's determined by what people suggest in Discord, everyone. And uh, we do a poll at the beginning of the stream and whatever the poll decides is what I play. Uh, and then Monday, uh, Sunday mornings, I do a coding stream. So that's also a thing I do. Besides gaming, I also do some coding. Uh, all of the kind of the details of like when that happens is on the uh, schedule here on Twitch. All right, so that's important things to share <laughs> for new people. Uh, let's throw in the play bricks into the furnace after I sleep. All right, and uh, oh yeah, some fuel would be good, huh? So how do tin pipes work? Um, something I mentioned at the beginning of the stream that I've not had a chance to really look at, but probably is something I should start thinking about. Although I understand that the, uh, the they can't be picked up until you have like a steel wrench or something. 
but still could be really good for keeping stuff going uh, while I'm, you know, elsewhere nearby. Let's see, where was that? Over here. A bowl full of spaghetti, it says. So we need 12 templates, and we can make 12 pipes. Yeah, that, that checks out. Yeah, you'll need to still wrench to remove them, but um, you can use these simple item pipes and conveyors. Uh, I don't know about conveyors. Okay, well, let's just try stuff out. <laughs> I have a lot of 10, relatively speaking. So we need 24 or 10 to make 12 plates. And uh, probably we'll need a new hammer soon. Where is hammer? Yeah, there we go. Rip hammer. All right, so I always forget which side the stick goes. Is it this side? Yes. Cool. 12. All right, so that check and then the item pipes are just, let me just bookmark it, that's easier. There we go. I do like completing quests. We get a spaghetti. And for some reason, this keeps happening. I'm not sure what that's about, but my, my whole screen goes black, mostly. Do not know. Kind of odd. Okay, so how do we think the pipes work? Okay, it doesn't auto-connect to anything, which is good. Now, so you need the steel wrench in order to be able to remove it, but fortunately, I think we should still be able to like control what it connects to. Now, does this work? No. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, we can put that crushed calcite ore in there. So you can see in the bottom right there, right there, it says not currently harvestable. So, oh well. How do you work? How do you work? Let's try on the side. Ooh, it auto-connected there. That's interesting. What does it do? Nothing. <laughs> it does nothing. All right. Yeah, I think, so it did, the, the quest book did say something about a conveyor. Which is a thing. There are conveyor modules. Um, as a cover. But these seem like not things I could use. So I'm not sure why uh, the quest book mentions it then. Don't place them down unless you're sure of the location until you have one. That's eh, fine. I don't mind. Later on, you can make better item pipes. With these simple item pipes and conveyors, you can take items out of one machine and feed them immediately into a second machine. This was inside of the, the Steam Age, right? Huh. Why? Tank, cold boil, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Alamite, yeah, that would be good. Ooh, fancy. 
All right, let's take a look here. Uh, let's go back to the multi-block goals. What else did we need? That was a bust. <laughs> That's fine. It was just a little bit of um, 10. Ooh, gold ore berries. We already have these other ones, which means we can get more and more. We don't have gold yet, so that might be good. Um, so the gypsum dust, that's that's what we were working towards, right? With the uh, getting the calcite. Or I guess we could, wait. No, 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 that's a separate thing. So gypsum ore is a thing in um, mineral sand vein, 50 to 60 on the overworld. Okay, and we, we know where those veins are too, right? So, okay, let me go outside since that is how the map wants to work. Um, so yeah, there's some mineral sand over here and over here and here, oil sand. So things to do between this stream and the next Minecraft one, I'll uh, I'll, I'll go get some um, gypsum and some more uh, calcite. And what else? What else do we need? So we needed some other dusts. Now we get this sorted because we'll be able to macerate the uh, clay. Stone dust we have enough of. Sand is good. A wild boozel appears, or however you say that. Uh, so let's, let's take a look here. So this is why we needed the four iron furnaces to combine, combine with the fire bricks to make the bricked black fur blast furnace. This is the controller block for the bricked blast furnace. Usable for steel and general pyrometallurgy. It has a useful interface, unlike other great tech multis. Okay. So the controller goes in the front center of the setup, and it's it's so it's three, uh, let's see, width, three by four by three. So it's kind of similar to the um, uh, the Coke ovens here, except it's one taller, and it has a special block that goes in the front. Like these are all the same blocks. It's just that the graphic, like how it renders, is the, this one is different but these are all the same blocks. But with the other thing, you make the whole structure out of fire bricks except for the front, which is the special controller. Okay. Well, unfortunately, let me, let me take a different tack on this. Fortunately, we made a lot of progress today in terms of uh, the farming setup and figuring out how to move forward on that and have, figuring out what we're doing with the, um, all, the, all this other setup. But uh, that's, that's going to be it for today. So we're going to save here. Keep going a bit. No, no, no. So it, it's going to be like a couple of hours <laughs> of gathering materials. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ten minutes. Why ten minutes? Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. 10 minutes, huh? What, what, what is your game here, Foxy? Kingslayer is raiding with a party of well, seven. Kingslayer just raided with seven viewers. Well, welcome, raiders and king. <laughs> welcome all. Uh, Foxy just convinced me to keep streaming for a little bit longer. Um, and I think I know why. Thank you for the four bits. <laughs> Foxy Blue just cheered for Alex, us. hello, hello. Re, what? <laughs> and the Jello Show, yeah. Welcome. Uh, so, the stream today has been me playing some modded Minecraft. Uh, Greg Tech New Horizons is this mod pack based on uh, Minecraft 1.7 from long, long ago but is actively under development, is, has a ton of features, a ton of capabilities, such an amazing pack that it's gonna take us thousands of hours to work our way through. Um, but 
<laughs> You've been lurking, but came with uh, King's Raid. All right. I see that. So there's so many chapters, including all the way to like end game goals where we're going to like make a Stargate and stuff. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, it's also very scary to be awake at night. So at uh, sunset, <laughs> which is always 6.32 p.m., I, I must sleep. But uh, yeah, welcome everyone. We um, are just wrapping up the stream. So Raiders, thanks for coming over here. We are going to, thank you for the follow, the Jello Show. The underscore Jello underscore show just followed. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So things to mention. So Discord uh, is here. So um, let me give this the spiel again. So I stream modern Minecraft every Monday. It's modern Minecraft Monday. It's great to New horizons for probably for years at this point. It's going to take a long time to get through the pack. The uh, next stream is Wednesday. It's going to be some, um, uh, what is it? Multiplayer Power World with subscribers. Um, if you are su subscribed, you can find the subscriber only channel in the Discord and you can get the details to connect. Uh, you have to have the PC slash Steam version of Power World to be able to play on the server. Um, Friday, if you um, are there, you can vote at the beginning of the stream on what I will be playing um, based on the nominations from, again, the Discord. Sunday morning, I do coding, um, usually without the webcam. Uh, <laughs> although people keep asking me, maybe I'll do it at some point, but generally I don't, I don't like being on cam at like eight o'clock in the morning. Anyway, so that's, that's what's going on. Uh, so thanks everyone, uh, for coming in a raid, hanging out, chatting. Thanks Foxy for all the bits and the scare, uh, coding face reveal. Uh, yeah, it's like this, but not as cleaned up. <laughs> All right, hold on, I gotta snooze the ad again. Uh, go away, ad. All right. <laughs> so, uh, there's so many people here, we gotta do a raid, right? We gotta keep that, we gotta like, um, what's the, what's the correct expression? I don't know, but we need to do a raid to send you all somewhere else that's gonna be even more exciting. So, um, yeah, that's an option. Foxy always with good suggestions. Hello uh, there. Hello there. A little Obi-Wan. How do I, how do I get back to Twitch again? Bear with me as I look up at my other screen. <laughs> that's where I have all my Twitch stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, X Lady GX doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Some uh, old school gaming. All right, I see Foxy's there already. Yeah, that looks good. Let me see. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, King says Lady. Lady G for sure. Uh, yeah, let's see. So, <laughs> I like how Twitch says that Foxy came from the, the raid. Hey, Ironic Chaos uh, 1205. Uh, sorry, late to notice the raid I was playing for. <laughs> no worries. I've, I've been in many similar situations myself. We are going to raid someone else. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this, this, this thing right here that's gonna have Frosty Tools generate some raid messages for us. So one raid message, uh, the one that has the pogs in it is the non-sub uh, raid message. So you wanna copy that. There should be another one here soon that'll have like save and hype and stuff like that in it, which are the sub emotes. So if you have a sub on this channel, you can use those cool emotes, like the ones Foxy has been using, save and love and uh, so on and so forth. Save and hype a, uh, oh, well, anyway, there's the other one. 
So the second one is the uh, sub emote and what we're gonna do. Hey, thanks for the follow. Ironic chaos twelve oh five just <laughs> followed. Thank you for for the follow. Alex says I made my own rating for for me. How's that work? All right, so we're gonna kick off this raid. Uh, so start raid. Hopefully this will work work this time. I would. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So even raid. Yeah, the the TTS sometimes does not work. All right, so thanks again, everyone. Uh, looks like 17 viewers already raid. That's amazing. Uh, send Lady G my love. <laughs> And uh, let her know where you're coming from. And until next time, take care.